guys, welcome to another video. So in my last Q&A, uh, one of you actually asked me to do a TMI tag which means too much information and I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see it so I asked you guys if you did and a lot of you said yes. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I have my laptop with me. I have the TMI tag open. There are a set of 50 questions. That's really too much information so I'm going to be answering them now. So if you want to watch it then please continue watching. So starting off with the first question which is what are you wearing? I'm wearing this tailored kurti that I absolutely love. I think the print is so 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 gorgeous and so on my bottoms I'm actually wearing pajamas because you obviously can't see so I just wear pajamas when I film them. So yeah that's what I'm wearing. The second question is have you ever been in love? Well yes I have. I have been in love before. Uh, thirdly have you ever had a terrible breakup? Um, these are really very personal. Okay, uh, terrible breakup. Let's see. Well, yeah, I did have a terrible breakup. Okay, how tall are you? That's the fourth question. Now, I am, I think, 5'3 or 5'4. I'm not very tall. I wish I were 5'6 or 5'7. That would have been awesome, but I'm not. Short girl problem. Um, anyway, the fifth question is how much you weigh? I think I currently weigh about 50 or 53 kgs at my most healthy um, the fattest that I've ever been was a 56 and a half which was two to three years back um, right now I weigh about 52 or 53 so yeah the sixth question is any tattoos okay so I do not actually have any tattoos but I want to get one and I'm a big fan of those really small minimalistic tattoos I think they just look so good and so fantastic so I want to get like a little um, coat or something over here first like I really want to get a tattoo over here sometime soon and I'm thinking of either getting a coat in Arabic or maybe just those little words and something because I just love those so none at the moment but definitely looking forward to in the future the next question is any piercings. Yes, I do have a piercing. Very normal, very basic ear piercing. I don't have any other piercing. I want to get another ear piercing over here maybe. And I also want to get a nose piercing but I'm so afraid of it. So I don't know but at the moment just one. Uh, the eighth question is OTP. One true pair. Right now I cannot think of any one true pair that I really love. Um, if, if you talk about fictional, I would say Ross and Rachel, those they are my one true pair in terms of fiction but non-fictional real life, I don't know, I don't really, I cannot really think of any games right now. Okay, so the next question which is the ninth question is favorite show? Friends, of course, always, friends. But I do have other favorite shows actually, I love Keenan and Kel. In terms of Indian TV shows, if you ask me, Sarabhai vs Sarabhai, hands down the best that I've ever seen. Um, but at the moment I would say friends okay favorite bands very controversial uh, favorite bands let's see I love Coldplay I quite like Maroon 5 I used to love listening to Backstreet Boys and Blue as a kid like I grew up listening to Backstreet Boys, Blue, Britney Spears, NSYNC all those 90s bands they were the best um, I also actually really like One Direction which is why you perhaps have seen this one One Direction video which is the first video ever on my channel so yeah those are my favorite bands basically so moving on to the next question something you miss okay something I miss let's see hmm. I would say my childhood uh, not exactly childhood but I just miss um, how simpler things were when I was a kid like when I was in school things were so much simpler but as you grow up, life just keeps on getting more and more complicated and that's something that I hate. So I would just say the simplicity of life that I had as a kid. Uh, favorite song? At the moment, um, my favorite song is Afreen. It's uh, one of the Coke Studio Pakistan songs. Uh, it's by Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. He's such a gem. Um, I love that song. That's been that's kind of like my all-time favorite song as well so I would say favorite song at the moment is Afreen if you haven't heard it you should definitely go ahead and hear it it's a beautiful song beautiful um, how old are you? I am 22 years old I am going to turn 23 this year and that's how old I am my zodiac sign which is the next question is Virgo um, 
the quality I look for in a partner, I would say um, the most important quality for me in a partner would be honesty because I hate liars. I just absolutely hate people who lie, who betray and stuff. So honesty for me is very, very important. So I would say honesty. The next question is my favorite quote. Okay, so at the moment I can think of two which are also my all-time favorite quotes. The first one is from Harry Potter surprisingly because I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I know the whole world is but I'm not really a fan of Harry Potter. But I think this quote uh, is kind of like a dialogue between Dumbledore and Professor Snape if I'm not wrong. And I think I may be completely wrong but I think it goes something like even after all this and then Professor Snape says always and that's just such a heart touching quote. Um, apart from it there's this one um, quote from this book called Kite Runner by Khalid Hussain and it says something like um, I cannot remember it. Wait let me just google the quote because I really really love it so much. Wait. Um, Yes, so this quote by Kite Runner, uh, from the book Kite Runner, which is by Khaled Hussain, it says for you a thousand times over. I just love it. Um, I actually, that's what I actually want to get uh, tattooed over here on my wrist, but it's just too big a sentence. I think it wouldn't look nice on the wrist, so I changed my mind, but that is one of my all-time favorite quotes. The next question is, favorite actor, Ranbir Kapoor, um, fav loud music or soft? Soft music definitely. I am a sucker for soft, slow, romantic songs, which is soft, slow songs in general. Like I love party songs and disco songs, but my main, I would say interest or my main liking tends to lean towards soft, uh, slow songs. That's just how I am as a person. Um, okay, where do you go when you are sad? Literally nowhere. Whenever I'm sad or I'm upset or I'm tense or just anything, I just watch Friends, like I watch two or three episodes of Friends and that just helps me uplift my mood and I swear this is the truth, like in fact Friends, in fact I actually watch Friends before every exam, that, that's like my good, um, that's like a superstition that I believe like if I watch Friends before any exam, my exam will go good and it has happened, like twice I have not watched Friends and both the times the exams were so bad, I almost like flung and I did not flung like I was on the verge of flunking. So that's also like a good luck charm that I watch friends before ex every exam and also when I'm upset. Okay, how long does it take you to shower? Now, uh, it depends like if I have to go somewhere special, like if I um, have a special event or something, then I would probably take around 30 to 40 minutes. But otherwise, like when I leave for college and stuff, like just in general, I would say 15 minutes or so, like 15 to 20 minutes, kind of like that. The next question which is the 22nd question is how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It takes me around I would say half an hour to 40 minutes like including my makeup and everything. I do not do a lot of makeup. Um, I do have a plan, I do have a, um, a college makeup thing going on in my channel. I don't know if I've uploaded it by now. If I haven't I will in the next week but if I have I will leave the link in the description and you can go check that out. So the 23rd question is, have you ever been in a physical fight? Um, with my sibling a lot um, when I was a kid but with somebody else as a grown up, none. I don't involved in physical brawls. Um, turn on. Okay, turn on. Let's see. Um, people who smell good. I love um, people who smell good. I have a fetish for perfumes. You probably know that by now. So people who smell good. Um, men who have that um, you know like that uh, what is that called stubble like not a full-on beard but not fully clean shaven as well like in the middle that stubble that looks so good and also men who have abs I'm a big fan of abs so turn offs uh, people who lie um, people who smell bad that's just such a turn off and um, people who are not punctual that's a big turn off as well I get very angry when people are not punctual because I'm very punctual in nature if you ask me to reach somewhere at say 10, I will reach there at 9.30 and then I'll call you up and I'll start abusing you because you are late even though you are not. That's just me. Okay, 26th question is the reason I joined YouTube. I think I've answered this before. The reason why I actually joined is because um, I actually always wanted to do this but I never had the courage. And then one fine day I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it and let's just see what happens. So I did it. Um, the reason I joined is basically because I just had this wish ever since. 
I started watching makeup tutorials which was a long time back. 27. Fears. Hum. Fears. Um, I have a fear of heights. I have a fear of water. I'm, I'm a big hydrophobic. Um, I never learned swimming even though we had a swim pool in our school and we did we would be given swimming lessons but I never got to learn swimming because I'm just such a big um, hydrophobic. My biggest fear is actually death and things are getting really morbid now so I'm just going to stop now and move on to the next question which is the last thing that made you cry. Um, two three days back I had a big argument with a very very close friend and I'm a very big emotional person. I'm an emotional fool. I cry very easily. Not in front of people, but I do cry pretty easily. So yeah, that's the last time I cried two, three days ago because I had an argument with a very close friend. The next question: Last time you said you loved someone. Um, pretty much every day. Like um, I have very few friends, and those few friends I hold really close to my heart. So pretty much like every day, every other day, I keep telling them that I really love them. I really value them. I'm really just sappy like that, so I would say pretty much every day in all my close friends and stuff. Okay, meaning behind your YouTube name. There's, there's literally no meaning behind my YouTube name. It is my full name, Farheen Chaudhary. But if you are asking the meaning behind my name, as in Farheen, then that means... When I was a kid, my mother actually told me two big lies. She said that the meaning uh, Farheen meant somebody who's really beautiful. So I would... And maybe she made it, maybe she said it to make me feel good about it, but whatever. That was a lie, that's not what it means. Uh, what it basically means is somebody who's really cheerful and chirpy and joyous and stuff like that, like jubilant. That's what it means basically. I think it kind of goes with my personality. I am a little bubbly, I am a little adorable, but yeah, I'm just joking. Okay, next. Okay, so moving on to the. the, 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 the 32nd no not the 32nd 31st question which is the last book you read now honestly I do not read a lot of storybooks or novels or anything this is the one habit I really wish I cultivated as a child but I just didn't unfortunately so I do not read a lot of books but the last book I read as far as I can remember is The Wings of Fire it's the autobiography of APJ Abdul Kalam I really have a great amount of respect and admiration for him so that's the last book I read the book that you are currently reading is question number 32 and the answer is nothing because like I said I do not read books. I have my semester in two weeks and I cannot even finish the readings that I'm supposed to do for my papers so let alone a novel. Okay 34th last person you talk to. The last person I talked to is actually the person who owns the camera that I'm shooting this into Dost. So yeah the last person you talk to is the one who owns this. Uh, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. Uh, this person is a very very good friend of mine, very close friend of mine, which is why I could, um, without any hesitation, actually ask for his camera. So yeah, very good friend. Favorite food. I love Chinese food, okay? I love Chinese food. Like, uh, if you ever have to take me out on a date, just bring me some Chinese food and you pass my test. So my favorite food would be um, fried rice and Manchurian. I love that. That's my comfort food as well. So yeah, that. Okay, moving on to the next question. The place you want to visit? Europe. Ever since a child, I had wanted to visit London. That was my dream destination for a good um, five to eight years as I was growing up. Now it has changed. Now it's Italy and Venice and all those beautiful locations. But I really do want to visit Europe at least once in my life. Uh, the next question is place. Last place you were last place you were um, I, I believe this is kind of like last place you visited um, because none the surprising thing about me is that I have never gone out of Calcutta like I've never visited any city or any hill station or anywhere I've never basically gone out of Calcutta which I know is very shocking and I hope to change it um, in the near future so at this point I will have to say none the last place you were none okay Question number 39, do you have a crush? Celebrity crushes plenty, but real life none at the moment. I do not really crush that easily. I do not really crush on people that easily, I just guess. Um, but celebrity, if I have to name one, uh, right now I'm watching 13 Reasons Why. 
it's a fantastic show even though it's really morbid but I just cannot stop watching it and I have a crush on the guy who plays Justin I think his name is Flynn something if I'm not wrong but he's just so hot so hot um, okay uh, Last time you kissed someone, very personal question, but it's been years, really, honestly it's been years, so yeah. Uh, last time you were insulted, my friends keep insulting me every day, but like, kind of like on a more serious note, like somebody who has actually insulted me, um, I cannot remember anything of that sort. I think it may have been a brawl in school, but that's like quite, quite like five, six years ago, so quite a long time back. Um, favorite flavor of sweet? I don't know how to answer this. Flavor? Favorite sweet? I, I, I don't have a sweet tooth actually. I kind of like, I'm more inclined towards, um, not exactly spicy, but just more like spicy stuff. And, uh, not like spicy, but just like um, chatpata foods. I have a craving for chatpata foods more than sweet foods. I do not have a sweet tooth, so I don't really know how to answer this question. I'm just going to move on to the next, which is what instrument do you play? I unfortunately do not play any instrument, but I have a fascination for um, guitars. I really want to know how to play the guitar, and I love people who can play the guitar. So guitar is probably one thing that I wish um, um, I could play. I want to learn how to play, and also the piano. I love the piano. Guitar and piano, definitely. Uh, Okay, question number uh, question number 44. Favorite piece of jewelry? Um, earrings. I really love wearing earrings. I actually do not really wear a lot of jewelry. Like I see so many people wearing such a lot of junk jewelry and ethnic jewelry and stuff. This is that one department where I have zero knowledge. Like I really do not know how to accessorize outfits. So I kind of like make it up with my makeup. That's a little trick. But yeah, my favorite piece of jewelry is earrings because this is literally the only jewelry I wear. So yeah. Uh, moving on to the 45th question, which is the last sport I play. Now, I am a little different than most people, as in, I like playing sports, but I do not like watching sports. Like, I hate watching sports. I do not watch sports. I am not a sports fan, um, but I like playing it. Like, if you ask me to play cricket, I will play it, but if you ask me to watch cricket, like, I'll watch a match, I cannot. I do not have patience to actually sit for an hour or so and actually watch somebody else play the game. But anyway, the last sport I played, I believe, was in school and it was badminton because that's what I had as one of my um, indoor game options in school. So I would say either badminton or I think volleyball. Either of the two, I cannot remember because it's been a long time. Okay, the last song you sang. Now there's this song by Tal which I used to love as a kid and now only recently like for the last 2-3 days I've fallen in love with it all over again and I cannot stop humming it. It's called Nehi Samne Tu. It's a beautiful song by Hari Haran. I especially love that humming part that um, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to attempt it because I will sound like um, a dying whale but it's a beautiful song and that's why I keep singing these days. Uh, 47th question, favorite chat up line, how you doing? <laughs> I'm a big friends fan so I really love Joey's signature, how you doing? So that's my favorite chat up line. Have you ever used it is the next question which is, by the way, the third last question. We are really getting over it so fast. Uh, have I ever used it? No, I do not need to. People use that on me but I have never felt the need to use it on other people. I do it. 49th question. Last time you hung out with anyone? Oh, just a few days back. Like, I think two or three days back with a friend um, at the mall. I know it's very basic, but I'm a basic bitch, I guess. So, yeah, at a mall with a friend. 50. The last question. Who should answer these questions next? I do not really know. I do not really care. I, I, I don't really want to tag anybody else in this tag as it is this. This TMI tag has died down. I think this happened in 2015 or 2016 and we are in 2017. So I do not really want to tag anybody for this, but if you feel like answering, go ahead and do it, man. I don't know. So that's it for this um, video. I hope you enjoyed my TMI tag. I know I did it super quick. I was like really like rushing through the questions, but I hope you got to know about me a bit more. And um, if you did, then do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care and I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye.